Welcome. We're going to learn a special way to add bigger numbers together. You will also use this method in grades 2 and 3. Let's say we want to add these two numbers together, 15 and 14. The method we'll use is called train sums. The reason we call them train sums is because we break the sum into different parts and join them up like a train. So let's get started. We're going to start with the following sum. 15 plus 14. So 15 will be our first number and 14 will be our second number. When we do the sum, we will break up one number and leave the other unchanged. First, there are some simple rules. Rule number one. Never break your first number. When we do the sum, the first number will never be broken up. To remind us of that, we place a little heart above the first number. The heart reminds us that this is a special number that we should never break. Rule 2. We break only our second number. Let's look at the sum again. 15 plus 14. We have a heart above the 15, which means that this is our special number we should not break. And we're going to use another picture for the second number. But this picture is a lightning bolt. The bolt strikes the number and breaks it into two pieces. We know that 14 is made up of a 10 and a 4. So we know that the lightning is going to break the second number into a 10 and a 4. Rule number 3. We use an arrow to show that we are thinking. Here's the part that we have done already. We have a heart above the first number, 15, to show that it is our special number, which we do not break. And we have a lightning bolt above the second number, 14, to show that we are going to break the second number into tens and units. Our arrow goes underneath to show that we are busy thinking. We're going to write down our thinking as we do the sum, going in the direction of the arrow. Rule number four. We use an equal sign when we are ready with the final answer. So let's try to use those rules for our first sum. First, we draw the heart over the 15 to remind us that it is our special number, which we do not break. Next, we draw the flash of lightning above the second number to show that it is the number we are going to break. And we break the number into 10 and 4, our tens and our units. Then we draw the arrow to show that we're going to start thinking or working out the sum. The first thing we do is put our special number, the 15, after the arrow. Now we are going to add the second number, the one that we broke into two. But we are only going to add the first part, the 10. So we add plus because we are adding 10 next to our first number. 15 plus 10. Now we add another arrow as we are carrying on with our thinking. We have to think of the answer to the first bit of the sum. This is not the final answer, it's just the first bit. And we're going to write it down after the arrow. So we need to write down the answer to 15 plus 10. To help you, you can use your number chart. Remember, when we count in tens on the chart, we jump straight down the blocks to go up in tens. So we find 15, and we go down one because we are adding one ten to our 15. So 15 plus 10 is 25. So we write down 25 after the arrow, but our sum is still not complete. After we have added the 10, we must still add the second piece that the lightning broke off. That's the four. So we write plus four. And we now need the answer to 25 plus four. If you know the answer, then you will just write the equal sign followed by the answer. If you're not sure, you can go back to your chart. Count four spaces more than 25 to get the answer. So 25 plus four equals 29. Then lastly, you can go and write your answer, 29, in the block above to show that you have figured out the answer. Let's try another sum. 17 plus 25. 
Rule number one: Make a heart above the first number. We won't break the number seventeen. Rule number two: Make a lightning bolt above the second number. The lightning bolt breaks twenty-five into tens and units. To make twenty-five, we need a twenty and a five. Now we make our arrow because we're going to start thinking. First, we write our special number seventeen. Then we add only the first bit of the second number. 20. So we write plus 20. Then we make an arrow again because we have to think of what the answer is to 17 plus 20. We can go to the chart, start at 17, and then jump two blocks down because 20 has two tens, and we get 37. So we write 37 after the arrow. But we are not done as we've only added the 20. We must still add. The number five. So now we write plus five, and we can write the equal sign because we're getting ready for the final answer. You can write in the final answer now, or if you are stuck, you can go and count in your chart. First, we find thirty-seven. Then we count five spaces more than thirty-seven to get the answer, which is forty-two. Write the answer forty-two after the equal sign and in the question block. Don't worry if this seems a little confusing at first. As long as you follow the rules, you'll find that it becomes very easy with practice.